Hi everyone. In this video, I'm going to show you the solution to the 2021 AMC 10A problem 10 or the 12A number 9. Which of the following is equal to 2 plus 3 times 2 squared plus 3 squared times 2 to the 4th plus 3 to the 4th times 2 to the 8th plus 3 to the 8th times 2 to the 16 plus 3 to the 16 times 32, 2 to the 32 plus so on. So how can we evaluate this expression? Well, if you remember from the book that we created, if you haven't already know about the book, you can check out the link for it in the description. Basically, when you have long expressions of terms that you're multiplying together, telescoping is probably at play. Telescoping means the canceling, math canceling. So how can we somehow cancel? Well, for telescoping, we typically have a number divided by another number. So, but these are not anything, there's not anything to do with a number divided by another number, it's just the sum of two numbers, right? So someone needs to convert this term to something so that it's some number divided by another number. So that it can easily telescope and give us a valid expression, right? That's what we think. So what's two plus three equal to? So the reason we can telescope this is that two plus three, we can actually see that two plus three times three plus two, three minus two, is gonna be equal to three squared minus two squared. So we can actually express this as three squared minus two squared over three minus two times three to the fourth minus two to the fourth over three squared minus two squared because remember, two to the squared times three squared, two squared plus three squared times three squared minus two squared is equal to three to the fourth times minus two to the fourth by the difference of squares factorization. So we can express this and we can then telescope this and we can see that the last term is just going to be equal to 2 to the 128, 3 to the 128, minus 2 to the 128, over 3 to the 64, minus 2 to the 64, right? Because we know that 2 to the 64, 3 plus 6 to the 64, times this expression here, is just 3 to the 128 minus 2 to the 128. And then from here, we can see that this will cancel. 3 squared minus 2 squared cancels with 3 squared minus 2 squared. All of these terms cancel. We're left with 3 to the 128 minus 2 to the 128 over 3 minus 2. And this is just equal to, since 3 minus 2 is equal to 1, it's equal to just 3 to the 128 minus 2 to the 128, which is C. So C is the answer for this problem. Let's recap the key steps in this problem. Basically, we first did, what we first did is that we did, we expressed it in the difference of squared terms. And it's actually one of my favorite problems on the condoms because it had a really cool idea of, of using this long expressions of terms and evaluating it using difference of squares, factorizations, and that allowed it to actually cancel out and result in a nice expression at the end. And actually, there's actually a really easy way to meta solve this problem. Basically, what you can do is rather than expressing, ex expanding this long expansion, you can just do something like 2 plus 3 times 2 squared plus 3 squared. And then you see this is just equal to 5 times 13 to 65. And then we see, okay, which of the following is equal to? But then again, just like here, instead of because we're only expanding two terms instead of three to the one twenty eight minus two to the one twenty eight, is this is this actually going to be equal to three to the four minus two to the four? And we can see that five times thirteen sixty five is actually equal to three to the four minus two to the four, because we can just make all the numbers smaller based on the, what the pattern is. And then from there we can also see C is the answer. I meta solving it pretty easily. It's definitely a great way to apply meta solving. If you haven't already, go check out the meta solving video as well. Thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, be sure to like the video and subscribe to this channel to be notified of future math competition videos. Bye, everyone.